We're standing in a cottonwood riparian forest. You can see that the ground is littered with the fallen leaves of the cottonwood trees. Mm, the smell is uh, slightly musky. It's got a wonderful crunch underfoot as you walk. And I'm headed up ahead here, there's a little cliffside that may yield us some more interesting rocks to look at. There are hunters here, so every once in a while I'll give a little whistle. The, uh, Deer in these parts aren't well known for their whistling abilities. There we are, just at the cliff. If I find anything up here interesting, we'll uh, do a little recording of that. A uh, word of caution, uh, as you're climbing up in these areas, I've got my friend Sticky here, helped give me a third purchase, but uh, it kind of goes without saying that you don't want to be in an area where you're likely to uh, have rocks fall on you. Rock slides, you can see that uh, there's definitely possibility for that here, so just pay attention, be careful when you're out here. Uh, you can see a lot of conglomerate. I uh, pretty quickly spotted this here, which is more some, some more shells. We'll zoom that in a little closer. There we go. Uh, some more of the shells that we found by the uh, riverside. And as I glance down to this little wash area where we're getting some rocks uh, freed from the rain, I can see little more little glints of the seashells there. But I'm hoping to find something a little bit more interesting to show you. If I happen to come across that, I will definitely do a quick little recording. Oh, there's another one I missed. Just out there in plain sight. Also, it's also worth mentioning that um, I'm out here in the SWA Pueblo Reservoir area, but you don't have to come this far. If you're interested in taking a look at some of these things, the cliff sides at the Pueblo Reservoir themselves are just absolutely chock full of uh, these types of um, fossilized shells. So if you're interested, uh, you can go there. It's probably a lot safer. Uh, you don't have to go into these sketch washes um, where you know, who knows what's going to happen. Taking a trip back across deep time, we're going back approximately 95 million years ago uh, during the late Cretaceous in a time period known as the Cenomanian. What you see on screen is a bivalve or clam that was a fairly prolific in the shallow seas that once covered Colorado.